the corner there. It's just a question of in between every round. Look at the face of Gomez. He's really, really taking a lot of punishment to the face. Yes, I never seen Gomez puffed up like this in any day of the fight. Sanchez is very cool. He's, he's very calm and collected. And Sanchez is starting to box a little bit more this time. He's out on his toes, he's circling. Even Gomez is doing the same thing to try to draw him in. Now he's backing up. I think it's not good for Gomez to back up there. Good punches by Sanchez that time. Sanchez worked downstairs for the first time and uh, taking a little bit of that wind out of Gomez. That's the first time Gomez has been on the ropes like this. This is the first round. Gomez's legs are still rubbery. They're very well, very rubbery. Even when Sanchez throw a punch, he don't make us. Uh, he don't even change. I mean, Sanchez throw a punch, he don't even change the expression. And when he takes one, he don't change the expression. Yeah. All guy, business. All business. Still, he's changed now. Yes, this will be a, a great surprise for his new son or, or daughter, whatever. The Gomez can win this title, and I'm sure when the son grows up or daughter grows up, they will really have something to talk about. Yeah, that would be some... Watch this exchange now. Oh, yeah. Some great punching going on. See that uh, crisp right hand, though? Uh, Gomez scored a couple of punches, but with Sanchez, it really had the power behind it. That's right. It, whenever Sanchez lands, Gomez usually takes a step backwards, and he feels it. Well, as you look at both corners, you can see just in the uh, facial expression of the two of them, which man is out in front of the fight. But again, we can't say enough for Wilfredo Gomez for his staying power and the courage that he's had throughout this fight. He's very rubbery leg and he's very shaky. Okay. Round number eight. Sanchez is on target. and Gomez look like he's been through a war. He's still fighting hard. He's still fighting hard. I feel that Gomez wants to try to go for broke, 
because he knows his eyes are swollen up on him and he wants Sanchez in the corner so he can shoot all he got. Gomez is trying to counter over the, the jab of Sanchez and it's, it's something to see because Gomez's eyes are closed and he's trying to trying to counter a, a right hand over the jab. That's right. He's, he's really have to, has to concentrate right now to see because his, you know, like his eyes are two little slits. But he's trying. I know that he wants to get the big one in to get Sanchez out of there. Gomez got hit with a, a right on the counter that time. Three good shots to the body by Sanchez. Three straight left hooks to the body by Sanchez. Are Three good left hooks to the body, and, and Gomez didn't try to do anything about it. So right. Sanchez shows you again, he got confidence. It is a very, very good fight. Tough fight tonight here at Caesars Park. The pace that you folks are seeing right now, it's been like this from the opening bell. That's why I tell you, the fans are getting their money's worth to this one. Again, they're taking great attention. Gomez is on the ropes. He's cut under the nose again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Gomez is hurt. Okay. He's down. He's down. He's down. Counts up to three. It's four. I don't know if Gomez can Gomez make it. Gomez won't get up. He's hurt. I don't think he can make it. He won't make five. it. He's up. He can't see the rest. He's got him. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Referee Carlos Padilla stops the fight in the eighth round. A TKO win in the eighth round for Salvador Sanchez, who retains the WBC World Heavyweight Championship. So. As you can see, it's pandemonium in the ring. Carlos Palomino is going to attempt to interview the champion. Get him spun around, get him spun around and spin yourself around. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Carlos Padilla stops the contest at two minutes, nine seconds of the eighth round. The winner and still featherweight champion of the world, Salvador Sanchez. Siempre ha demostrado 